Uh, the crew got another unboxing for the welding rig from Lowell's. Let's get to it. Purchased the DeWalt XR 20 volt hammer drill and some masonry bits to go with it. So it's for concrete, masonry, brick, all that good stuff. Let's go open this critter up and see what some initial thoughts are of it. And this is the XR series. I'm not sure if there's a non XR hammer drill, but I've been going with the XR because it is for heavier duty stuff. So I would recommend looking into that if you need something that's less heavy duty, if there's a non XR one, might be less expensive. I just wanna throw that out there. So let's get opening this up. Just as y'all saw with the grinder, four and a half inch to five inch XR grinder, they do have a bag in here. And it looks like it's got everything already in the bag. So perfect, I'll just keep this up there. Everything's already in the bag. How nice is that? And it's not, the heaviest duty bag in the world, but it's also not the cheapest one. If y'all uh, know those super thin ones that you can almost feel like you can tear it, this isn't it. It does have a wire in the top, so it does feel like it can close easier. Uh, whether it makes a difference for some of y'all, uh, I don't know, but it might. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. These are nice, you get a little bit better handle on it. So that is good. All right, we have a flip with a little screw. We'll find out what that goes to in a moment. Instructions, very good to read instructions. Make sure you all read instructions before you use any of this so you don't hurt yourself by doing something stupid. And so this is the 20 volt max, three speed brushless drill slash driver slash hammer drill. So goody goody. Right there, we'll have this out front so you all can see it. And let's get to the, the critter to start off there. So here is the hammer drill. We've got different settings on here, which is nice. We'll figure out what those are all for. All right. So everything feels good. Nothing is loose. They don't feel cheaply made. I do like that it has a little bit of texture on the handle. Some of them don't, and I don't care for that. Nice smooth trigger on there. And interesting, there's an adjustable LED light on here. Normally, the ones I'm used to have the LED lights here or something up here, but it has one on the bottom that apparently can angle. That's different, I'm not used to that. So that's interesting. And got the battery charger here. So this looks like it is the same as the charger for the angle grinder battery. I believe they're gonna be the same battery, which is great. So that way they're interchangeable. That's kind of the reason I've been going with DeWalt, other than being heavy duty tools, is that I'm able to get the batteries and interchange them. Can't be that hard, it's just a twisty tie. There. All right, so that is good. Out. Last but not least, the battery. All right. I believe this is the same, should be, as the battery for the angle grinder. I haven't used it in a while, so I will have to double check on that. Everything looks good. Connections look like they got something on there, probably an electrical of some sort. I'm not sure if that's a technical term or not. I'm really not sure. I'm not an electrical person, but when sometimes there's a sticky stuff on the connectors, kind of glue it up, whatnot. So, go put this on here. Hey, how about that? It even came with the charge. All right, I'm gonna try this out. That is interesting. All 
So different speeds, that's all good. One, two, and three up top. Let's see what that does. So I will find out what all that does. This thing, the turn off. Probably should read the instructions, like I mentioned. But I was like playing around with the tools. Everything looks good. Doesn't feel super loose, just has a tiny amount of give. So nothing wrong with that. Everything feels pretty darn good. So everything turns nice and easy. I like those nice solid clicks. It's not one of those loose ones. So that's good. I'll find out what that does. So interesting, there's a little light there. Uh, it's not super, super bright. Not sure if it's supposed to have lights on the side, if it's just the one. Figure that out in a bit. So everything looks pretty darn good there. And then go ahead and open this critter on up. And then actually open a lot easier in most of these packages. This is from Bosch. Uh, I'd look for DeWalt and they didn't have any masonry bits or concrete bits at all at Lowell's, at the Lowell's I went to. So I just picked this one up. Looks like it'll do pretty good. It goes all the way up to half inch. I'm not imagining doing anything more with half inch with this. I think that's as far as this one will accept as half inch, I think. So this will work for right now. I've used much bigger ones on job sites, but I'm not thinking about any job sites in the near future are going to have huge uh, needs for hammer drills that are that big to where it's a inch and a half bit. I'm just not seeing that in the immediate future. If something like that pops up, I will obviously pick one up. But this should do good for putting in gate post, uh, fence post, anything that's screwing into a masonry wall, whether it be brick, on the side of a business, side of a house, any of that good stuff. So everything looks good there. Not thinking of too many other thoughts to add to this at the moment, but this is all going to be stored away, getting closer to the loan rate getting put together, so that's really good. And yeah, let me know if y'all use the XR series. I'm very curious to hear if y'all have any good or bad experiences with this. If y'all like DeWalt, I know Milwaukee has been rated higher recently, but I've always heard a lot of good things about DeWalt over Milwaukee. So that's why I'm going with them along with the interchangeable batteries. I've heard there was a little discrepancy with the Milwaukee batteries. I'm not sure if that's true or not, just uh, hearsay. And that's why I'm going with DeWalt again. So uh, if y'all have any questions, I'll try and answer my best of my abilities about this. And I'll obviously let y'all know more about this when I'm using it in the field, which I'm very excited about. And that should be it for today's vlog. Hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next vlog.